What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting video of the Bridgewater Triangle Paranormal Investigators. Today we are heading over to the Holland Cemetery on Camp Kiwani Road in Hanson, in the woods just outside Camp Kiwani. The Holland Cemetery was established in 1846 when a furnace man named Lewis Holland passed away. Lewis along with his wife Pamela and daughter Susan were all affected from the smallpox epidemic in Hanson. Due to the town's superstition and isolation from smallpox, each time a member of the family died, their bodies couldn't be buried in a populated cemetery, so they were buried on the back of the property on the Holland Farm. And the last known documented date for these stones to be in good condition was 1959. Since then, vandals have destroyed the cemetery. People have reported seeing black shadows hovering over the cemetery. Maybe it's due to the souls being restless due to the vandalism. So guys, we learned through historical records that Lewis had a son named Lewis who passed away in the year 1879 and he was buried in the Fern Cemetery. And he obviously didn't have smallpox or he would have been buried here with the rest of his family. And these black shadows that have been reported hovering over the cemetery could be from the residences who live in that house over there walking down this trail. We don't really know for certain. Lewis Holland. 1806 to 1846. His wife Pamela, born in 1805, died in 1869, and his daughter Susan. Now according to historical records, it states that she was born in 1840 and she died at the age of 26, not the age of 16. So I don't know why the plaque says 1850. Then that would mean that his wife Pamela found a new lover, gave birth to Susan, but just never remarried and that's why Susan took over the name Holland. Yep, probably. I'm sorry for your passing. Smallpox must have been awful. The fever, the chills, within 24 hours you develop rashes. If you survive smallpox, most victims were left blind and they had scars all over their body from the pustules. Did you have unfinished business? Or were your souls restless due to the vandalism? Is there anything we could do to help you move on? If so, you're free to speak into this recording device in my hand. So we got the geo phone set up right there to detect any footsteps. And we got the REM pod set up inside the pillars of the cemetery. Lewis, if you're out here with us today, can you touch that device? That will be your yes response. If Pamela is out here with us, could you touch that device? Or if Susan is out here with us today, can you touch that? Is it the Howland family who's been seen out here hovering over the cemetery? Paul, huh? You're just not an event. We just got an event. So there were footsteps detected right here. Is the meter fluctuating? Yeah. The temperature? Oh yeah.
Maybe when that thing went off, maybe it scared it and back off. Maybe. You know what? Let me fire up the EM pump. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if you're out here, you have free energy to channel off of. Can you show yourself? We just want to communicate with you. Oh, yeah. That's a 68. Oh, yeah, it's dropping. Paul, there was just another event, another footstep detected. Fluctuating temperature? Yeah, not much though. Seems that most of the action is outside the cemetery. Yeah. The longer we're here, it seems like this thing's going down more and more. Gradually, yes. Gradually, yeah. yeah. When we got here, it was like 72 or something like that. So. 63 degrees. Yep. If anyone is here with us, can you touch the device in Paul's hand? Oh, 62. Very good. Can you come closer? Paul, the geo phone just went off again. Yep. That's the third time. I... Can you walk towards my buddy that's holding that blue device in his hand? You're doing good. Can you just walk right up to him? Very good. How about you come over and touch that device that's on the ground? Can you do that? Susan, my name is Harry. This is Paul. Can you tell us what year you were born? Was it 1840 or 1850? This one I just heard someone say one. I thought I said what? It could be one. Did you pass away at the age of 26? Or did you pass away at the age of 16? Lewis, your brother Warren passed away. And your sister-in-law remarried. The Everson family bought this farm. The property was in good hands. Do you feel restless that there was unfinished business left on the farm? If so, it was in good hands. My sister-in-law's new husband was an investor. Lewis, I understand you were a furnace man. How many hours did you work a week? What did it say? Three? I couldn't make it out. Sound like a female saying three. Is this Pamela or Susan trying to come through? Who is setting off that device on the ground? 
you tell us your name? Lewis, how long did you have smallpox for before you passed away? Can you tell us how many days? Week? A week? Is that, is that what you said? Week? A week or weeks? So he must have died fairly quick. Yeah, he died at the age of 40, which was very young. Susan, was Lewis your father? Pamela, did you remarry? Sixty-six degrees, so the temperature is going back up. I wonder if it will go back down over here, where all the action is. Still the same. Oh! Geophone just went off again. again. And I'm standing still, so I'm not setting it off for my footsteps. Oh yeah, temperature's fluctuating too. What'd that say? Hello? Hello? Hello! My name's Harry. This is Paul. What's your name? Can you walk over towards us? Sound like someone said, yeah. Sound like a young girl, though. A young girl? Maybe Susan. Susan, can you walk over towards us? Sixty-four degrees, it's not even fluctuating. What can we do to help you move on? Go back that was a fast reply. Yeah, it was. I'll have to go back and look the footage. Are you upset that your plots were vandalized? Or the fact that the Everson family took over the farm? So I'm going to put the EM pump over here by the main entrance. Seventy degrees. Starts dropping again. It's actually going up. Seventy point one to seventy point three. So guys, I just want to make note that the sensitivity on the geophone is set real low. So it's not going off from us walking around a good distance from it. As you can see, Paul's stomping his feet and it's not going off. Can you give us any kind of sign that you're here? Anything at all? Can you tap one of us on the shoulder? Or touch this device in my hand? Make any one of the devices go off? Anything. Temperature actually went up to 68 degrees now. I have a question. Can you tell us what year your plots were vandalized? Who was the name of the person who affected you with smallpox? Do you know? Is the son of Lewis out here with you guys? Are you guys with each other on the other side? Or are you stuck here? The property looks beautiful now. Are you happy with what was done to the property? Did you guys ever swim in the pond in the back over there? It's now Camp Kiwani. 
Is it okay that we're here visiting you? Yep. I think it said yep or yeah. Okay. We're not vandals. We just want to communicate with you. Is that okay? Do you still feel as if this is your farm? Can you tell me what you guys did as a family for fun? Are you guys upset that you couldn't be buried in a populated cemetery? I'm sorry what happened to your stones. It wasn't right. If there's anything we could do to help you, speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, at least they did enough to let us know that they're here. Yeah, you true. Know? Lewis, Susan, and Pamela, I'm very sorry what happened. So I tell you what, we're going to give you your privacy. And I'm going to leave the recorder down walk away and see what we uh, capture. I'm sorry you had to suffer. May your souls rest in peace. And we're also going to leave the camera rolling too. So, these black shadows that have been seen during the day could be from the residents that live behind the cemetery out walking down one of the trails. As a matter of fact, our shadows were even seen in quite a few pieces of the footage at 6.04 p.m. But that doesn't mean that there isn't any paranormal activity at the Holland Cemetery. The geophone tracked quite a few footsteps when we were out there, followed by major temperature decreases. We just got an event. So there were footsteps detected right here. Is the meter fluctuating? Yeah. The temperature? Oh yeah. Paul, there was just another event. The longer we're here, it seems like this thing's going down. 63 degrees. We even asked. Whoever is out here, can they come closer? And the footstep tracker went off again. Oh, 62. Very good. Can you come closer? Paul. Oh. The geophone just went off again. Is that what you said? Yep. And just when the temperature started to rise, there was another footstep detected followed by a temperature fluctuation. 66 degrees. So the temperature is going back up. Oh! Oh yeah, temperature's fluctuating too. Now we had asked Lewis how long he had smallpox for before he had passed. And a voice spoke out on the spirit box saying, weak. And many affected by the virus usually show signs within 12 to 14 days. And then within the next week, you usually feel ill with a fever. And many had died from lung damage from pneumonia. Lewis, how long did you have smallpox for before you passed away? So why does a certain present or presence haunt a cemetery? They didn't die in a cemetery. Well, they may be attached to their physical bodies, especially if it was treated with abandonment or disrespect like their stone markers being vandalized. And you have to take into consideration that the Howland family was buried in their backyard. They weren't laid to rest with their other family member, so their stones were all they had in their remembrance.